Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program Kerbalism. My name is Seth. In the last episode, we launched the Ophelia 3 rocket into space with Jebediah into orbit, and we launched the Ophelia 4 with Valentina into orbit, and we're going to dock the two, and they're going to get out and do a little bit of an EVA. Now, our second launch for Valentina wasn't that straight and wasn't that accurate, and it left us about 30 kilometers away uh, from rendezvous. So we've done one burn to adjust that down, and we're about to do the second burn in four minutes' time to bring our orbit into, well, to bring our rendezvous distance down to within 500 meters. Except. What I have just noticed that I have not enough fuel to do this. I only have 40 meters of 40 meters per second of delta V remaining. So because of that, I'm going to do an abort. I only just noticed that actually. We're only a couple of minutes away from the burn. So we're going to go around to Apoapsis because we're perhaps this is fairly far out. We're gonna do that's not even the right way. And we're gonna burn retrograde at Apoapsis with everything we've got and to orbit because we are so close now I do have some mono propellant um, and I will probably use that as well I don't know how effective it will be but it's better than nothing so let's grab all the experiments that we can because this isn't a bought scenario. Um, actually, how long have we got? Doesn't matter about the ex science experiments. We're uh, not going to get out and grab them. We're just going to we're going to time warp to maneuver. And I'm pretty much just going to burn everything. Because essentially, we just. Essentially, we just need to bring Valentina home. Uh, I don't exactly know what. I know the, the two orbits weren't that accurate. So that's oh, that's the wrong way, so I want to go that way. And so, I mean, we were never even going to make the rendezvous because the rendezvous distance, the The relative velocity when we actually were within 500 meters was 90 meters per second. We never would have made that. So. Okay. We have the target. Be entry in eight minutes. Let's transfer all the mono propellant out. Can
because I don't need to bring it back with me out of the capsule. Interestingly enough, this will be an abort for Jebediah as well. So we'll turn off those monopropellant engines so that anything else comes from the capsule. But yeah, Jebediah will be abort mission will be aborted as well. He'll um he'll return fairly quickly. I don't know exactly how or when or what the second the end the, the launch for Valentina was fairly stable there was nothing out of the ordinary with it um, the only thing I can think of was that it was just the fact that our that when we got to orbit it took too much Delta B to bring the rendezvous down. Then didn't really I didn't think that would have been so not sure. I mean ultimately I think it might just be a case of getting better engines, to be honest. Uh if we replace that second upper stage with a terrier a terrier engine, I mean that's much more efficient and that will probably allow us to make that stage smaller and it'll work fine, but as it stands now, it's not great. Okay, so now let's... I'm going to go down on four times time warp. All the science was lost. So that's not actually good. Now, I haven't actually planned this landing. So you can see that's where Jebediah is. So, ah, well, we're in the oceans west of the KSC, I believe. That's deserts below us, I think. Okay, so safely through. Fourteen thousand meters. Okay, so we are gonna land in the water, yep. Ten thousand meters. Another 
Is it? Is it? Yeah, uh, they can open. Okay, so so we used half our blade from that as well. So that's uh that's quite interesting. So that'll be Valentina back safely. And it'll just be a an abort for Jebediah and a return because he will be close to running out of oxygen and food. I think he's probably only got two days left. So I'll have to have a look at that. Unfortunate that it was a failure. Five, five, seven, nine. Seven Gs. So let's recover that. I mean, the fact that no one died is a good sign so far. Frustrating. Wondering if the inclination change was pretty. I mean, the inclination change is pretty severe as a 4% change. But, yeah. Maybe if we just focus on. Ah! That was unexpected. So I guess. So I guess. That's great. Launchpad flying. That is excellent. Okay, so because. Ah, nice work, Valentina. I guess because the science would have got transferred to the capsule when it was done on the hard drives, because uh, Kerbalism has hard drives and the data gets stored on the hard drive. So I guess that's stored in the cabin. I didn't actually need to go out and get it. So. Well, Jebediah, I think he is keen to return home, given that mission is now an abort. Curious to know how much Delta B he has, actually. Okay, so well, he's got 800. I mean, is there really that much mass difference between the two? I would not have thought so. So, all right, well, let us look at bringing Jebediah home if I can work out where the KSC is. That doesn't look like any of it. That. I think that is it there, and if I just turn retrograde now and burn, that will probably do it. Yes, 
See what happens there. I mean, that's just a rough burn. Re entry in five minutes. So let's look at getting there. In. Out. Okay, I guess just there wasn't that much monopropellant used to be honest, okay. So if I then... But that's the KSC there. I mean, we're over it. Oh well. Base retrograde. And just time warp my way through it. It's. We're on our way down regardless. Doesn't matter where we land at this point. Let's just get it done. And work out how to fix this for the next launch. They're probably passing through 50,000 meters at the moment. Should soon start to see re entry. Or maybe not. Expected it by now. Two thousand, yeah, okay, soon. There we go. Quite a slow subdued re entry. G-force is starting to build up over 1G, 1 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. We should really start to lose the re-entry effects now. We are coming in on the highlands. We are going to land in the badlands. That could be some interesting science right there. No, we're going to land on the grasslands. Okay. 16 kilometers above the surface. Flying over the mountains now. Six kilometers. Four kilometers, release parachutes. Well, no, but I need that. Well, uh, do you suspect I'm a person to get here? 
your way. Get rid of the hate. Oh. Ooh hoo hoo. I just made it. That was nearly dangerous. So landing on a bit of a slope in the highlands. That's alright. Can work with that. Cool. Okay. Yeah, a bit of a slope. Yep, absolutely. Now I've actually dropped texture detail down, as you can probably notice, just to see if we can get some performance back. Because, hey, playing the game at one frame a second isn't exactly cool. So, that was an unsuccessful mission. However, I am pleased that everyone made it back safely. So, if I grab a crew report, keep that. I'm also. I'm going to grab a cheeky EVA report. And uh, a surface sample. And then we'll recover that vessel. Just so we can grab whatever science we do have left. So it's year one, one day 200. Three, five, four, three. It's a failed mission. Okay, so pretty much have a look and go back to the drawing board on on that and see where we can improve apart from just giving the second craft to launch more fuel which you know that may just be what's needed so I'll um let's have a look and see what flags that Jebediah gets what ribbons Actually, there should have been a chunk of science too. So, I mean, we're probably pushing oh, maybe 350 science, maybe more. Be a good amount. 407. Okay, so that gave us 70, 71 science. So that was the eye sample from the upper atmosphere. Blood sample. Eye sample near space. Blood sample near space. Okay, interesting. That's Great. Okay, so I've got 407 science. Jebediah eye research, Kerbin, surface EVA, Mach 2, orbit, 10% solid rocket. So then, where's the Terrier engine? So the Terrier engine is there, so that will probably... I mean... Why wouldn't I? It just... It's just going to make things that much easier. Don't need any of this stuff just yet. So we might um, we might grab the Terrier engine and redesign the Ophelia 3 and 4 to use the Terrier engine for an upper stage and that will probably give us the extra Delta V we need. But I will fly those flights in the next episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you again next time. Bye for now.